Can we profitably, regeneratively and healthily graze and farm without industrial chemicals? Absolutely. Small and large acres, it's being done now and profitably. I'm arguing one farm, one paddock at a time. If we can develop healthy landscapes, healthy landscape function, from that comes healthy food and fibre. And we're also finding now healthy profits, healthy people, and as I will argue, a healthy planet. Plants with animals can restore our farms, our soils, our ecosystems and profits. Without doubt, climate-friendly food production is a public good. We have 72% of the UK is a farmed landscape. Unlike other industries, we have a solution within our grasp. And if we do nothing else, focusing on soil fertility and restoring carbon has to be at the basis of all of this. This is an issue of ecology more than physics. You need an active confrontation when you want to see change. It can be beautiful, it can be peaceful, it can be respectful, but that's what's necessary and that's what takes change to happen. It's about working in harmony with soil nutrients, soil biology and plants. The ultimate goal of farming is not the growing of crops, but the cultivation and perfection of human beings. Food and medicine are not two different things. They are front and back of one body. Agriculture is the health industry. The NHS is the illness industry. We heard a little bit about that yesterday. Making people better, it is our job to keep people well. The current model is broken and everybody seems to now accept that, which is a huge achievement. I think it's really optimistic and really doable, but it won't happen overnight and it requires a lot of detailed work, engagement and all of the farming community understanding that natural capital is the core of their private business as well as their public business. And if you really put polluter pays principle and sequestration and other subsidies into place, it would be the most radical thing you would ever do to British agriculture. It's not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It's the one that is the most adaptable to change. The ultimate test of a moral society is the kind of world we leave to our children.